Hi and welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb. This video is going to talk or utilize the Math Learning Center app GeoBoards to discuss the kind of the, the standard objectives of transformations, just a general idea of transformations and, and how we can allow students to explore these transformations using this manipulative and this tool. Uh, so you're a teacher of mathematics and you need to teach the idea of reflection. Uh, now when in dealing with lines of symmetry you build shapes and uh, you find lines of symmetry, well, it's all based off this concept of reflection and finding lines of reflection and taking parts and reflecting about that line. And you can start by just creating a general shape such as, say, this one here, and we want to reflect it uh, about this line so we can have a line of reflection here. Uh, well, we know we're going to start, this point's going to be uh, reflected about itself, that point there, and then this point will be reflected one unit over, so that's where it goes. This point here is going to be reflected two units, one, two units from that point of intersection with the line of reflection. And then this point here is just one unit over, so it goes to that spot. And then this point here is going to be one unit on the other side, so we bring it up, and then we bring it down here. Um, and I didn't do that right. Do you see the, the issue I have? Yes, you should see the issue I have because you are very smart. So we take that point there, and what was wrong is I should have brought this line down and reflected about. So that free exploration allows students to correct mistakes, to find a misconception, to follow along the, their train of thought, and they can visually see that it is not a reflection, is not a line of reflection. Now, later on, students can define, let's say, an X and a Y axis in your higher grades, and then you can say ordered pairs. Each one of these vertex points is going to be an ordered pair. Each one of these, and then those will be reflected about that x, y axis, and you can determine where it is, the ordered pairs that these points do get reflected. So this point negative 1, 1 is going to get reflected to 1, 1. This point negative 2, 0 is going to get reflected to 2, 0. And then negative 1, negative 1 is going to get reflected to 1, negative 1. So these are things that can be expand, expanded, explored, and um, utilized in the teaching of mathematics. And GeoBoards can help um, in that utilization or in that discovery. Uh, you... So many shapes can be reflected, you know, this was one shape and then I could actually uh, make this my line of reflection. And so where is that actually going to be? Um, uh, this may not be the greatest example because of uh, the points that we have and the utilization of points. So um, this is a much better example. So I can reflect this piece about this line of symmetry. So I go up here, then I go there, then I go here, after I go there, and then I'm here. Did I get that right? I believe I did. Man, I tell you, I'm a smart man. So anyway, we have this, here's a line of reflection. Well, let's go into the other transformation, the transformation of rotation. Uh, here's our shape, and let's rotate that shape. Uh, let's rotate it about a certain point. So if I take this shape and I rotate it about a certain point, then in essence what I'm going to be doing is I'm, uh, if I create the shape again, this is easier with some other apps than it is for this one, I want to take this, <clears throat> this line here and I want to rotate it to be right here. So if I rotate this line to be right here, then this line will be up here. So I have this up here. And then this kind of dragon mouth is going to be over here. And now I have that rotation. I'll take this shape and fill it in so that we can see it. And we have our original shape now rotated about this point to this spot. Now, this rotation, we know that we're rotating clockwise, then that's going to be a negative rotation. So what happened? This angle became that angle. It became a 90 degree rotation. I'm losing some of my kind of uh, lines here because of my wonderful touching. But we have our, one, our right angle. We rotated it 
negative 90 degrees. But we could take our shaded one and we rotated it 90 degrees about this point. So this idea of rotation and rotation in certain angles can be modeled using geoboards. And then I delete these and I want to do a thing with translations to where we have a shape that is, say, here. And I want to translate that, let's say, three units up and four units to the right. Well, let's three units up. I can't really do that with this shape. I'll go one unit up and three units to the right. So one unit up, if I'm at this point, I go one unit up and three units to the right. One, two, three. So I'm going to have somewhere over in here. And now this point goes one unit up and three units to the right. So I'm going to be here. This point goes one unit up and then three units to the right. So it is here. And then this point goes one unit up and three units to the right. So it is here. And now we've taken our shape and we've translated one unit up and three units to the right. So our students can then explore where the different vertexes went. Where did their pegs? This peg translated to that peg. This tr that peg translated to that peg. We can actually draw lines to it and see where the pegs actually translated and that actually establishes it's pretty cool artsy if you will there's a three-dimensional shape that we're looking at right there but it also shows the pathway of where the different vertexes of our shape original shape where they translated so um, the exploration of this is is endless I thoroughly enjoy it you can do a number of things with transformations and the connections to the algebra of our older kids and then the earlier kids just trying to rotate it and see how it would be rotated and where's the point of rotation so um, have fun with it allow the technology to engage and create the lesson and make it engaging and interactive uh, so I thank you for watching I'm Professor Lamb and this is PyPad Mathematics <laughs>